Everybody, have you ever wanted to be an experiment of some scientist in the other room? Apparently, that's what this one's about, as you just heard. So let's figure this out. The last one was a wonderful bedtime story. I wonder how horrible this one's going to go. So Lut is... Oh. Ooh, this is kind of cool. Does it... It kind of looks like it has a lot of the things listed on them, all of which looks like they've passed testing in the past. Uh, we have the... Um, I don't know what any of this stuff is. I, okay. None of this stuff makes sense to me. Let's figure this all out. R3, RGB, full color, IRs, infrared, XRs, X-ray. So we're looking to set the monitor to X-ray. So we have to set it to XR. And that's the camera monitor. So we can't interact with this thingy, I think. I think this is our monitor. So that's R3. Oh, yes, right here. Ooh, IR, that's infrared. So it has to be set to XR for X-ray. We're already doing what we need to do. That's kind of fun, I think. How do I know if it's charged to CC86? So the camera's on. Oh no, this, CC86. It says it right there. If I could just read, this whole game's about reading and I don't do that. X-ray device. So I charge that and we're ready to go. So turn this on, awaiting x-ray data. Did I do it? It's charging. Charge. Sync master, it's green. Go! Okay. Did I do it? The x-ray is coming through now. Ooh. There's no Someone's talking to me. I love to that. The surrounding organic material. Uh, no signs of activity either. All Can I get a closer view? Flatlined. Okay, let's begin. Oh, there's something in the box. So new experimental task. Let's do that. Um, experiment number two, surface reaction attempt. Demonstrate the effects of laser light on the subject, on the object. Try using a low powered red laser to begin with. This has to go to RGB. Ooh, it's a heart. Oh, we're trying to bring the heart back to life. That's not a good thing. Don't do that. We already know that's not a good thing. That's a bad thing. That's how you get zombies. We don't want zombies, do we? Ooh, I zapped the heart. Oh, I'm zapping it with the laser. Did you see it? It was right there. No reaction from first stage. Let's try a high frequency. Well, how high do you want the frequency to go? So we have everything set up already. We just need to turn this to 510, I think. And it's good. Tap it with green. Yeah! Ooh, that's bright. Still does nothing. Okay, we have a reaction of some sort here. We wow. signal. I don't see any reaction of some sort. Again. Also, I don't... I don't know if I should be doing this. Should I refuse? Do I even have the option? I'm locked in a room. Oh, four, five, five. Let's do four, five, five really fast. Uh, if I get uncomfortable with the experiments, we'll stop. Ooh, that one sounds even better. Oh, it did something. It's doing something. Well, it's pumping. Would you look at that? It seems we have a pulse. It's alive. <laughs> it's alive. I mean, it's possibly damaged. we probably shouldn't be doing this, should we? Let's push further. Why are we pushing further? Possibly damaged. We shouldn't be doing any of this. 25 hertz sine wave set to 1. That is this thingy. Because it's got the little things on it. Um, turn this off. Don't want that. I, what is... Is that the pulse? That might be the pulse. That heart. So... Yeah, set that to that, and this goes to... I'm not sure it's set to one. It's green, though. Green means go! Hit the big green button! Woo! It... What? It's not much of a response. It didn't do anything. Uh, updating the experiment now. What do you mean, not much response? There's no response. It did nothing. Give me something exciting! I don't want to sit here and stare at an empty human heart doing nothing. 500 hertz, gain of 5. Sweet. Let's crank this. Hit it. Ooh, look, it's resonating. 
or something. It's shaking like crazy. Seeing some fluctuations in activity. What do you mean some? It's vibrating violently. Yeah, there's probably gonna be a lot of damage. Wait, are they talking to someone else? Okay, we're gonna push further. I'm running out of time. Let's switch around. What do you mean time? What? What is the time that we're running out of? I don't like this anymore. Boom. And fire! Ooh! We didn't like square waves! I'm seeing good activity on this side. Oh! Seeing what do you mean good activity? We lost power in this I lab that I'm assuming is on an emergency generator. Or dangerous. But you need to trust us and keep going. No! Can I stop? Can I exit? Enter? Stop the experiment? It seems horrific. I don't want to do it anymore. You said it's... <sighs> they said it's dangerous, so why are we listening to them? And now I kind of wish I did, because this is all science-y stuff. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> it loves it. Look it. Did it blow up? I think the heart pop. We did it. What do you mean we did it? Yes! Is that what you were trying to do? Blow the heart up? Excellent progress. You're doing great. Are they and trying to weaponize sound? Try to relax as we go through these next steps. What do you mean? Just have to relax. Alleviate some of this discomfort. What discomfort? My discomfort? The heart's exploding discomfort? The protective casing is off. Proceed to drill the surface. So I just have to turn it on. That. Uh, why didn't I just put the stupid switch and just go? So go, drill press, go. Drill into whatever this is. What is that? I think something happened. How do you feel? I'm terrified. Don't be scared. We have a situation under control. You do not. You're not even in this Take room. A few moments, and when you're ready, we'll continue. What are those numbers? Are those numbers important? We mean take a few minutes and then continue. This is stupid. M make contact with it. Now you are using me for this experiment and I don't like it. This seems stupid. Don't want to touch it. It says not to. It says it's extremely dangerous. Do not touch. I don't want to extremely dangerous. Do not touch. What is it? Is that like the Iron Man core or something? Um, buddy. It escaped! Dude! I'm sorry to have to do this, but we have to know. Know what? What it's gonna do to me? What do I do with it? Touch it. <laughs> it stabbed me, I think, in the eye. Yeah, that's blood. I think that's my blood. Why did it do that? You're a proxy now. You have a connection to the entity's inner core. What is that supposed to mean? A proxy connection to it? Like a Ugh. conscious black box. Um. It can show you its memories. Look into it. How do you know the all that? Will translate onto the screen to be something that you can understand. What do you that mean you it translates onto the screen? I don't like this thing staring at me. It's giving me weird looks. Oh, I hold the mouse button now. Uh. What is this? What am I seeing? Did it like inject a USB into my brain? Whoa, memory. You wake up in the cryopod, struggling against gravity. You force yourself up. Impact into the planet's surface has torn a hole in the ship hall. Poisonous atmosphere spills into your craft. You are in a grave danger. You have to get out of here. Um, go to airlock, maybe. Let's see if we can get out through there. This organ was taken from what we think was the leader. Their leader? It was a heart, though, wasn't it? Like a human heart? Less hazy. Lean in. See what else it hides. 
what do you mean, what else it hides? Again, why am I even listening to you? They must, like, have my family or something. Whoa, that looked like an astronaut. Like a regular one. Not like a spooky, scary alien one. You squeeze through the damaged airlock and fall to your knees on the ground next to your vehicle. Every breath brings pain to your chest. You look around to see you are surrounded by mangled metal. Bright lights pour through every gap in the surrounding wreckage. Ooh, so we're outside of it now. A crash site. Smoke billows from the downed ship. Exterior lights flickering on and off. Wreckage surrounds you. Looking upwards, you see unfamiliar star patterns. This is the memories of the thing, whatever this thing is. It knows a different sky. Oh. So where do we go now? Looking upwards. So are we to escape? Use. Wreckage? Oh, here we go. It did something. With every ounce of your remaining strength, you move away enough of the wreckage for you to carefully crawl through the lights that surround you. Now attack your senses. So there's lights now in here. A circle of artificial lights surround you. Set up to illuminate the crash site in the dark. Behind them, an army of people, all staring. One figure steps out, a silhouette, and walks towards you. This is the memories of the alien thing that they harvested the heart from? I, I don't know. I'm so confused as to what's happening. Let's go to... Silhouette, maybe? Yes, the there. Is elevated, but you're doing well. Oh, For yeah, I can hear my heart rate actually going up. Make it this far. What do you mean they don't make it this far? Did they die? Apparently. This thing can kill me if I'm not careful? Well, I need to be careful then. Why are you having me do all this? I'm still trying to figure all this out. I must have crash landed as in the alien, and they abducted me. Well, the, the alien, I mean, not me. I'm just someone that apparently owes them a lot of money and they have my family. So I have to do all the things that they want me to do or something. I don't know. So this is like a legion thing. It has the senses of all of the things connected. I have a feeling looking around is going to be very disorienting then. We are in a bed, in a small and artificially lit room, with a single door. There is some sort of writing pinned to the wall. We didn't put this entity in quarantine, it expired at the crash. What? Whose memories are these? When did this happen? It... So it absorbs the memories of the things that it inhabits, I think. Oh. Uh, remove wires. Oh, that was the right thing. Oh, we're activating the thing in the other room. Find out what's going on. That it's got to be the thing in the other room. It's like we're activating the body of this thing. We yank at the wires protruding from our chest. Together, we all scream in pain. This action sets off an alarm echoing loudly down the adjacent corridor. Look around! There's gonna be a lot that we have going on! We are in a bed in a small, artificially lit room with a single door. There is some sort of writing pinned to the wall. Adjacent is a display monitor with wires that drape across the room, now dangling loose. They have tortured us. Okay, maybe open. Open door. Ah. That vision. It's not a memory. It's happening right now. Mr. Yes. I need you to stop what you're doing, please. No. 
Not anymore. You have locked me in this room with this thing. You have forced me to do all of this. I can't help what you've done to me. This is your fault. Ooh, was that us? That was us, wasn't it? Through the door, we find ourselves in an empty room with a device on the table. It looks familiar. They don't know how it works, but this host does. Ooh, it's like a parasite within whatever this thing is. And this little robot dude, our spherical buddy, he's helping control it because they are one. The door closes behind us and a lock clamps shut. We are alone together. Look around. I want to pick up the thing on the table. I'm definitely going to do that. It is some sort of preparation room. There are markings on more sheets with a door and a window on one side. The door we came through has been locked shut, and the other door had an orange alarm light above it. In the center of the room, a table holding only a small device taken from your, it's my, our ship. Sweet, they don't know how it works, but we do get device no pick up um uh pick up pick up device okay use maybe use device yes i don't know what this is but boy is it going to be awesome arrow keys up down select the row left right change the glyph Ah, oh, so I just have to match it, right? We have to know more. Rebelling now could be cut. Maybe? You don't know what this might do to you in the long run. It's fine. Don't worry about it. I'm just going to keep going. Whatever the problem is. Oh, that really Oh, I did it. <laughs> Whew, those flashing lights are brutal. Oh, we activated it. Yeah. Converging. Is that the second one? Oh, there's a third one. Fourth one. Fifth one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven of them at least. I helped you. Please don't hurt me. Love you. Stare at it. Yeah. Stare at it. It's fine. It's better than having my family abducted and everybody murdering me. Uh, yeah, but you tortured these things, so... One day, what happened? This will haunt you. So they were like a legion of little alien things that are all interconnected. That's... Awesome. Yeah, because we have the next episode. And actually, we're going to do the next episode in the next episode. How convenient. Anyway, we hope you liked this one. And we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.